Uh, these are our graduates from within our, our church congregation. Let's give them a hand, okay? And I want to pray for them. Uh, wherever path God has for them, that they will seek it and that they will find it. And then they will pursue it. Let's look to the Lord in prayer. Father in heaven, we pray for these graduates. We are blessed, O oh Lord, to have them within our congregation. We ask, O oh Lord, that you would show to them the path that they are to pursue, and once they have sought it and found it, that they would pursue it with all of their heart for the glory of God, and that they would re always be mindful that it's the grace of God that leads us to the place where we, we should go. When we walk in that grace, we are blessed from above. Bless them, O oh Lord. May your good hand be upon them. O oh Lord, grant them enough success that they know that they're on the right path. Lord, enough difficulty to know they have to trust in you. And Lord, that you would just bless them with an assurance in their hearts that they know the Lord Jesus Christ as their guide through life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God has blessed us as a church. And uh, one of the ways he has blessed us financially, and we are a church that's ahead of budget. And it's not that we give out a need give out of love. So let's lift up our, our hearts to the Lord and pray. Father, bless our offering as a, an expression of our love to you. Multiply these gifts that we give for your glory. Lord, use them to reach people for Jesus Christ. Lord, use them to meet the needs of people who know you. Lord, need encouragement, comfort, strength. Lord, even when we give a helping hand out to a needy person, we do it in the name of Jesus. Blessed, O oh Lord, that it might impact this world globally for the glory of our Savior. So bless our offerings now.
Pat Joyner, and I'm here to tell you about the Gail S. Joyner Memorial Scholarship. It was created in May of 2013 by way of a generous endowment from the Gail S. Joyner Revocable Living Trust. That trust directs Bethany Church to manage the endowment funds in a separate investment account for the sole purpose of providing academic scholarships on an annual basis. The investment account is targeted to generate $20,000 annually from which at least two $5,000 scholarships must be awarded annually. This past year's earnings from those invested funds allows us this year to give $22,000 in scholarships. That trust also directed Bethany Church to establish a scholarship board, which is currently comprised of seven elected members who serve on a three-year rotating basis. It is interesting to note that each member of the current board was, or still is, working with a school district in some capacity. Whether as a principal, a counselor, an academic advisor, teacher, or volunteer, or serving in other areas, each member of this board has an avid interest in helping students succeed. I would like those board members to stand. First is Louise Abersold, Jean Lewis, Sandy Lewis, Julie Patterson, Mel Renfro, Roger Zeller, and myself. Thank you. The trust directs the board to consider written applications from worthy applicants within Oakland County who demonstrate the following characteristics. Ambition to learn and advance oneself as demonstrated and confirmed by academic achievement. Having character and concern for others as demonstrated by volunteer service to those outside their immediate family, and demonstrating true financial need. Bethany Church began in Pontiac, is now located in Waterford, and is very close to West Bloomfield. Therefore, application packages go to the counselors of Pontiac, Waterford, and West Bloomfield High Schools. However, under the endowment guidelines, any student living in Oakland County, graduating from high school, or enrolled in a continuing college university program is eligible to apply when informed of the scholarship opportunity by a member of Bethany Church. For each scholarship recipient, one half of the award is sent to the school for first semester. At the end of that semester, the student must submit a transcript of grades to the board showing successful completion of 12 credit hours. Then the remainder of the award is sent to the student's school account for second semester. With demonstrated success, scholarship recipients have the opportunity to reapply for subsequent scholarship consideration. Gail Joyner was not extremely wealthy. She was an executive secretary by profession. She believed in working hard, enjoying life, being a lifelong learner, and saving and investing her money. With this endowment, Gail left a wonderful legacy of love and generosity that helps students who have financial need a drive and a desire to continue their education, and a demonstrated willingness to help others in return. We have with us this morning two former scholarship recipients who are now graduating from college who would like to share a few words about what the Gail S. Joyner Memorial Scholarship has meant to them. Our first speaker is Taylor Sloan. Taylor, please come up. Taylor is the daughter of Lori Place and Steve Sloan. Please stand if you're here to support Taylor. Um, 
She, uh, Taylor is a two-time recipient of the Gail S. Joyner Memorial Scholarship, and she's now a graduate of Oakland University. With a 3.46 grade point average, a major in journalism, and a minor in marketing. Taylor is also certified and fluent in sign language. Taylor, please tell us. Yeah. All right. Um, I started off my first two years at Oakland Community College, and then I transferred over to Oakland University, where I then received my scholarship for the Gail Joyner, which from that and working hard, I ended up graduating debt-free, which was really awesome. And I am now in CNPR training to become a pharmaceutical sales rep. So, yes. Go ahead. Thank you very much. Our second speaker uh, was to be Joseph Okai, and Joseph is graduating from Eastern Michigan University with a degree in sports management, and he hopes to become a collegiate athletic director. Joe is unable to be with us today, but his brother Matthew has agreed to speak on Joe's behalf. Brother's actually uh, working for the University of Michigan today, so I thought I'd read his letter for him. Right. Dear Scholarship Board, over the past few years, I've truly been honored to have received the Gail Joyner Memorial Scholarship Award. I would like to take this time to thank each one of you amazing individuals for your generosity, heartfelt compassion, trust in me, and my goals and aspirations. The scholarship has helped me finish my undergraduate studies with the financial freedom I wouldn't have otherwise had. It has truly been a blessing to help take some of the stress and workload off my mother's shoulders for the past four years receiving the scholarship. Because of you all, my college experience has been nothing short of amazing. I wish I could be there with you all today celebrating all the scholarship recipients but just know that you've made the right decision investing your time and money in me over the years. I will continue to conquer each day, becoming a better version of myself and making everyone proud. Thank you for everything you've done for me and my family. Sincerely, Joseph Okai, Eastern Michigan, class of 2017. It is now my pleasure to introduce to you the 2017 recipients of the Gail S. Joyner Memorial Scholarship. First is Carter Allen. Carter? Yes, come up here. Just stand right there. She has Carter is the son of Greg and Kelly Allen. Would the family and friends of Carter who are here please stand? We have okay, very good. Thank you. <laughs> Carter attended Waterford Kettering High School. He will be attending the University of Michigan Flint in the fall, and he's going to major in computer science, and Carter is the recipient of $1,000. <laughs> Caitlin Butcher. Friends and family of Caitlin, please stand. They're not here? Okay. We are here for you. <laughs> Caitlin is the daughter of Jean and Lisa Butcher. She graduated from Waterford Kettering High School. She plans to attend Michigan State University to major in biochemistry, and she is the recipient of $1,000. Amanda Lewis. Amanda is the daughter of uh, is the daughter of Matt and Becky Lewis. Are they here? Friends and family, please stand. Amanda graduated from Rochester High School, and she will be attending Central Michigan University with a major in social work and Spanish. And Amanda is the recipient of $1,000 to help her toward that. Congratulations. 
Jaden Lydell. Jaden is the daughter of Daniel and Terry Lydell. Is the family here somewhere? Friends and family? Please stand. Jaden is a graduate of Waterford Kettering High School. She will be attending Saginaw Valley State University with a major in nursing. And Jaden also is receiving $1,000. Tyler Garman. Tyler is the son of Norm and Rachel Garman. They're here. Tyler is one of four continuing scholarship recipients. He is enrolled at Michigan State University in the criminal justice program and is looking forward to a career in law enforcement. And this year, Tyler is receiving $2,000. <laughs> Bailey Lydell. Bailey. Bailey is the daughter of Daniel and Terry Lydell. <laughs> Bailey is a continuing scholarship recipient also. She is attending Saginaw Valley State University, studying to become an athletic trainer. And Bailey is receiving $2,000. Jaylena Powell. Would you, if you're supporting Jaylena, would you please stand up? Thank you. Jelena is a, she's the daughter of John Powell, and she is a 2017 graduate of Pontiac High School. She will be attending Michigan State University in the fall to pursue a degree in mathematics with a goal of using that math degree to help others, either as a teacher or a dentist. And Jelena is a recipient of $2,000. Congratulations. Courtney Rouser. Courtney is the daughter of Siobhan and Kenyell Rouser. Would the family please stand, friends and family who are here? Thank you. Courtney graduated from Pontiac High School and she looks forward to attending Oakland University to pursue a degree in nursing. And Courtney is the recipient of $2,000. Matthew Okai. You've seen Matthew before a couple of times. <laughs> Matthew is the son of Carla Okai. Would, would the family please stand, those of you who are here with Matthew? Thank you. Matthew also is a continuing scholarship recipient. He is attending Michigan State University pursuing a degree in sociology with plans to become a state trooper. Matt recently shared with us that he has been accepted into the Michigan State Police Academy. And Matt is the recipient of $5,000. And finally, Kylie Stidham. Kylie is the daughter of Matthew and Christina Stidham. Parents, family, friends, please stand. <laughs> Kylie is also a continuing scholarship recipient. She's attending Oakland University, working toward a Bachelor of Fine Arts degree 
in musical theater, and those of you here this morning can testify to the fact that she is a talented young lady. And Kylie is a recipient of $5,000. I was thinking this morning that this week, when you're reading the newspaper or listening to the evening news and finding yourself questioning the state of the world right now and the future of the world, I want you to think back to this morning when you sat in the presence of and acknowledged the potential of these young people who each not only have the potential, but the drive and the desire to make a positive difference in our world. Please join me in applauding and congratulating these 2017 scholarship recipients. Now, if the recipients would stay after the service, we need to just do a group picture. Um, Pastor Dennis has a few words to say to close the service, and then we will be having a punch and cape reception out there. So thank you very much.
I'd like to ask you to be seated just for a moment. I'm going to ask all of our scholarship recipients to come and stand in a single file facing you. We're going to ask a final blessing on their lives and uh, want you to participate in that uh, just by joining us in prayer as we pray for this wonderful Father in heaven, we ask that each one standing here before me would build their life on the solid rock of the Lord Jesus. Lord, uh, we know they're created in your image. Each one of these young people have great minds. That's attested to by their performance and academics. Lord, uh, you have blessed them with great personalities, which is attested by just the way they carry themselves, the personal charm that they have, when some attitudes that they've shared. Lord, you've given each one their own individual personality. You've also given them their own individual will. None of us can make choices for them. They've already made wise choices in pursuing academic excellence, pursuing a scholarship, pursuing more education to benefit themselves. Beyond all that, Lord, we ask that they would choose wisely and build their lives on the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, we pray that for all of us here as well. It doesn't matter what storm we're facing, we need the solid rock of Jesus. It doesn't matter if it's financial, emotional, relational, physical. Jesus is the rock that gives us hope even amidst the storm. Bless the Lord, we pray. Thank you.